So it seems that my stock Vilstein suspension struts on my Evo 10 have decided to, to give up on me and started knocking and clonking at low speeds just as the weather is improving and I'm beginning to drive the car a bit more and then the sprint season is about to kick off. But it's not uncommon even to have this problem on standard suspension and standard springs. The stock struts on the 10 just seem to wear out over time and begin to, to knock. So I've decided to bite the bullet and ordered a set of Meister R coilovers. Let's get them unboxed and uh, take a look. So what I've got here is the ZTR coilovers from Meister R for the Evo 10. I decided to go for these for two reasons basically. Firstly, I can't really justify spending thousands of pounds to get some top end KW Club Sports or Olin DFVs or even the top end Meister R GT ones. Especially as the way I see it, I probably won't have an opportunity to use them to their maximum potential as my Evo is predominantly 90% a road car with the odd track day and sprint thrown in. And secondly, I've spoken to a lot of individuals who've actually fitted them to their Evo 10s and a few owners who've fitted them to earlier Evos also. I also did a lot of research on the net about the company and the quality of the kit. And basically all I've heard is extremely positive feedback. I've genuinely and actually surprisingly not come across any negative comments from anyone who's bought and run a set of these. Meister R also seem to have a very good after sales service reputation, especially here in the UK. And the consensus, well, amongst Evo 10 owners at least, is that the Zeta R product do actually outperform the stock standard suspension, both in terms of comfort and uh, compliance, I guess, on the road and potentially on the track as well. I actually know of one owner who does a lot of track days and said he took his Evo around the ring after having the Zeta R's fitted and said they were great. So I'll reserve my full judgment until I've fitted uh, and run them a little bit, but in the immediate term, they're obviously going to solve the problem of my existing knocking struts and hopefully offer me a bit more control and improve handling on track also. Okay, so firstly the fronts. These are pretty much standard coilovers in terms of design. Aluminium construction, monotube dampers I think they are. Meister R claim uh, that these house a larger diameter and, and kind of short stroke piston to help increase the response and the damping. On the front you've got obviously the standard anodized aluminium top mount. It's got an integrated pillow ball bearing and standard camber adjustment gauges there. Both the fronts and the rears have got this 32 levels of adjustable progressive damping as well, soft to hard. The adjustment is both for uh, compression and for rebound damping in, in one go. Usual gig, basically allowing you to stiffen the damping when on track and alter the settings to make it softer for road use. Meister I've actually been really helpful uh, in, in terms of sending through some recommended settings for me to use on the track and on the road, specifically for the 10, although obviously they said I should play with these once um, I've got them on the car and see what works best for me. Cold springs, steel, powder coated, they're rated at eight kilograms, both for the front and rear, which is actually quite good as, as obviously the 10 is, is a bit of a heavier car than earlier Evos and most coilover manufacturers actually provide a softer rear setting on the rear springs than on the front, but these have been matched all around for the heavier 10, which from what I've read and seen discussed regarding setting up suspension and choosing the right spring rates based on weight distribution and mounting point on the hub and strut and everything, having slightly stiffer rear springs, just the way it mounts, mounts to the knuckle is actually a good thing on the 10. Threaded damper body apparently plated in something called black chromium. It's meant to be super resistant to corrosion. They've done tests on it with salt spray to, to make it rust and apparently it doesn't which is really good. Pretty standard I think aluminium anodized perch and lock collars allowing basically the adjustment on the preload of the springs and then and obviously the height adjustment as well. Lock it into place afterwards and then we've got the mounting point as well for a brake line bracket. But yeah, that's looking good. So that's the fronts. Standard McPherson strut construction. Similar situation here for the rears. You've got the top mount here, aluminium again, but with a rubber bush rather than a pillow ball bearing. There's no camber adjustment on these top mounts, but the Evo actually has got camber bolts and lower arms that you can get to underneath the car. So there's no need for this uh, for the rear. And again, these are eight kilo springs matched to the front, uh, which is great. And the same perch collars and height adjustment uh, locking collars there as well. So so that's the Zeta R's. I'm booked to get them fitted next week and get full geo and four wheel alignment done uh, and hopefully I'll update with another video shortly after that. But um, thanks for watching and see you soon.